we are thank you from NDA and also from your mayor, Mr. Bart. Uh, he is very gentle and we thank you him also to get us this opportunity. Please welcome Mr. Friday. I think this is a great day. I was just told about the decision of the courts. And you know, one of the main differences between this country and Iran is that this is a true democracy. We have separation of the various powers. I myself am a member of parliament. We also have members of the police here. And behind us, we have the members of the courts. What makes a true democracy is a division of these powers. Every single one of these branches of government is completely independent. This is what is missing in Iran. This is what is missing. Iran is not just a country that doesn't respect the rule of law and democracy, but it's actively engaging in terrorism, both on its own soil and throughout the world and in the European Union. Iran is a terrorist nation and we must say so loudly and clearly. also important to the Belgian government. I think today when we have the appeal, there is no other clear way to say this, that these people are guilty, were sent by Iran, and therefore the Belgian government should take the necessary diplomatic steps towards Iran. How can you have a diplomat under cover of the conference and convention of diplomats using the diplomatic's passport to transport explosives throughout the European Union to recruit people who live in this city to bomb and to maim people in a conference in Paris. These people were sent by Iran, they were convicted. Today it was confirmed that the conviction stands and then the Belgian government says nothing on this point when it comes to diplomacy. This is completely unheard of and unacceptable. The Belgian government should close its embassy in Tehran today, not tomorrow, should pull back its ambassador. And I think that the entire European Union should realize that with a terrorist nation, with a terrorist state, there is no negotiations, there's no dealings. And the further step I'm taking these days are to ensure that the person who did not go to this court for an appeal, Mr. Asadola Asadi, who is sitting in jail for a 20-year sentence, that he should never be released because we've all heard the talks. Iran wants him released. Iran is trying to arrange a deal at an hour in the future to get this terrorist, because that's what he is, he's convicted terrorist, to get him released early. We are, I am, and my party is completely against any notion that that should ever happen. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Belgian government is not clear on this. I asked a question in Parliament to the Foreign Minister, can you confirm to me that there will never be an early release for a terrorist? And I repeated the question, to the Prime Minister, who today is the acting Foreign Minister, and the answer was, today, at this moment, there is no legal basis for such an agreement. And he did not say we will never let them go. So I am worried, I fear, what will happen? And therefore, I would like to share with you something that has not, until today, been made public. I've contacted friends of mine in the American Congress to ask the American government to ask for the extradition of Mr. Asadola Asadi from a Belgian jail to a jail in the United States. 
And why am I doing so? Because you all know that at the conference in Paris that was supposed to be bombed, there were key senior officials from the American government. You had congressmen, you had envoys from the president, and therefore there is a clear link to the United States. And one thing I can tell you, if this man gets extradited to the United States, they will never let him go early. A terrorist that sits in jail in America, we all know, does not get released early and will sit his entire time. So I can inform you today that I've sent an official request to my friends in Congress in the United States to force their government to take action because I do not trust upon today that Asadullah Asadi will always remain in Belgium and China. Let me finish off by saying that this is an important day, this is a victory today, and we will go from victory to victory, how small it is and how long it takes us. Justice is on your side, dear people. Justice is on our side. Justice is on the side of true democracy. Thank you very much.